guys welcome back to choose your own path and today what are we doing well we just finished carving our coco ross um and we ended up putting who's we again me i ended up putting some gesso um it's primer so i ended up putting that on there so we want to get our colors out this blue is uh it's a little bit darker i mean it could be light could be dark it doesn't matter the fishes are all there what we have is a citadel and it's a lighter color blue and i ended up just putting a touch and just a touch of dark in it just just to add it because it's at the end of its it's at the end of its rope anyway we are just going to start off by doing around the fin that'll be the, that'll be the first touch of it it's around the fin like so, and we'll both do both sides. We'll have to do the top two. Okay, and then we're just gonna draw. I think most it looks like a lateral line, a lateral line, but it's not. So the pattern is just very everywhere, but it's more. It's just a little bit here and there, and I'm just making it squiggly looking. You can see that. And then sort of more thicker in the middle, but it's everywhere. It's it's not just it's it's all scattered patterns. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. There's also um, the fins, which I had here. They are also with a uh, blue at the tip, so that could be that could be done on the top here, like so. So we got that kind of a look going on. And then, like I said, the face is, it's primarily, it has the same kind of scattered pattern around the face. And it looks like it, looks like it has more of an orange belly. So we're going to try to keep that uh, intact. Okay, I'll show you what we got going on here. And we'll do the other side. You know what, I'll hit the other side and I'll come right back. So our next color is going to be, of course, the orange, because it's pretty much the two colors they have. So, you know, I have heavily reduced this. So what I did was I added an orange and a red together. It might have been a little bit too watery. So what I'm trying to do is just sort of like a, like a puzzle itself, or, you know, I just want to get in to where the white is. And sort of mixing it into the blue at the same time. Now, as I'm going over it and over, it'll get thicker uh, and darker. All right, guys, so that's just the first mm -hmm. stage of paint because I got to get rid of, like, I didn't realize this was all orange and then it just cut down into blue. Um, I don't know why I didn't see that, but it's just too dark there. So I might just paint that white and then add more orange to it. Fish flows pretty easy. It's hard to say because, I mean, like I said, I've never seen a fish like this before. So we'll see what happens. Uh, it's late. It's after nine, so I don't think I'll be doing any more. Gonna pack it up and get to bed because we got a long day tomorrow. All right, we'll be back. I'll be back. This is All right, guys, let's finish up this project we're doing. So, what I did was I chose to put it on a piece of old. This is diamond willow, and uh, put a hook in his mouth like I always do. And you can see the colors are a little bit dull. We're gonna do something different today. We haven't done in a long time. And we're going to add epoxy to it. Today we're gonna to be using our Michaels uh, version of pour on. I wanna finish it up. I still have the other stuff from Sepcor, which is really good, really awesome stuff. But I wanna get rid of this one. Now, it's a little cooler out today. It's not the best for doing this because it needs to be in a warm, er kind of a condition um though i'm in my shop and when i shut the garage the heat stays in we're not gonna put the fan on i'm gonna mix up a batch of this I'll all right back. so we mixed up four ounces so two ounces of uh, the hardener and two ounces of the reducer makes four ounces uh we'll need quite a bit because not only are we covering the fish we are going to also cover the piece of uh 
and this is a diamond willow that's been really weathered in age it looks really good i had to take um a screwdriver and everything and i basically just sanded it down but we'll see we're not going to do that one first we're going to focus on the fish because that's the one we're going to really go at so just with a normal paintbrush i'm not doing anything special i'm just layering it on there adding it on there and then hopefully it'll catch it so it doesn't um leak everywhere again we've always said before with um our with epoxy uh it will gradually try to take the gravity and, and come down on it so you'll leak go to, to the lowest point which is okay because um that's what we want is it to basically go down like you can basically turn it back and forth back and forth i've seen people do that or else they put it on you know like a rotisserie kind of a um piece and that helps too i mean we're going to build one of those one day where then we don't have to worry about it we don't have to always watch it and stuff like that so but you can see that it really makes it look like a wet fish and that's what we're going for um and it brings out the colors also which is nice I went and uh, took some different colors like I didn't show it on video but I did take other colors to it and I kind of lightened it down because it was really bright I was getting comments from my friends saying you know it's a pretty bright fish and they are very bright fish don't you know I don't I've seen pictures of them different size different kinds and they are different um, definitely different brightnesses in these fish and depending on I guess the year of catching them or what time of the year you're gonna catch them and all that so we are focusing on this to being uh just you know a colored fish that's pretty much it so um yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have this all coated up and you can see it's gotten a really nice shine to it now it's to look like a wet fish that's what we're going with um you know for it but it is on pretty thick now what I'll do is I'll just wipe some of this on here, like this. Try not to get too much of the the fish hook involved in this because it's it's going to want to stick to the fish itself, and that's not what we want to do. We want to let it loose, kind of thing, but we want to get it protected. Also, if you, like the reason I'm doing this is if I was to send this out to someone, um, you know, I could basically write on. The form that it's a protected fish as in it's been coated um it has you know it has no no way of like bugs getting into it and that's the biggest thing for any kind of traveling like sending things out is they will a lot of countries um will not allow they will not allow different species of wood i mean from here to the states is one of those examples and they're just next door to us so you have to be you have to basically you know might make sure that it it's protected and coated so um i'm gonna finish this up and i'll show you what it looks like okay all right so we got the fish and the base what's hanging on um we hung it because we want gravity to pull the excess down so probably for a good i always say this good 10 15 minutes i keep an eye on especially these little corner drips um because if they harden they're going to harden and it's going to be it's going to it's going to look nasty so another thing is is because of this fish hook that I got um you know it has epoxy on it now what i have to do is separate the pieces and then get them to where they're going to stick because like these guys here if i want them there well they're going to stay there they're, once once they're once they've been hardened with the epoxy um yeah they won't you won't get them off very quick right now they're even pretty good they're getting stuck to it pretty good and that's that's okay because then it gives them like a couple of them will be loose you can even see that a couple of them will be loose and then uh, a couple of them will be sort of hanging on on the fish itself so it, and, and that's what we want um yeah so i would say a good at least you know at least a good 10 15 minutes of because see right here i can already pull a piece off and if that hardens if it sits there and hardens what's going to happen is you get a big bulge and like a of epoxy and it won't be the end of the world but it's you know you can either you can either cut it off 
or you could actually sand it off. But if you sand it, then you gotta you gotta watch that it doesn't go dull. It doesn't have that dull look to it already, you know, because big chunks of epoxy will come off. And all I'll do with it is if I have to, is I'll just I'll add it into the mode, which is fine. You know, I just kind of take it off, put it in, same way down here. I know for a fact you can see the big chunks of epoxy that's already coming out of there. That can go into the fish's mouth, like so. So, uh, good 24 to 48 hours dry. I ain't even gonna touch this. And then you can see that I, what I did was I took the base, I just took a, a, a dowel and I drilled it in to the fish. And that's what goes into this little hole right here at the bottom. And, and that's what we want because we want somewhere for it to sit. All right. So once this is dried and once it's um, put together, we'll get back to you. All right. Maybe we'll make that another part. Part three, I guess. I'm not sure. Four, whatever. Okay. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.